Hello, AUW. This is Nancy Brown, your event coordinator and tech person. I'm recording this short video to show you how you can click the little tick button to allow third-party editing software to edit your videos. This is really important if you're wanting to take out any parts of your video before sharing it or uploading it to YouTube, which is what I do for the state videos. And if you want to, if you record your branch meeting and want to send it to me to edit, please make sure that this is checked because otherwise it's really hard for me to do. So I am in my personal account, which I don't have any upcoming meetings, so that, but don't let that confuse you. So in here, we're in the basic home page, and I've got meetings selected on the left-hand side, but what I want you to do now is go to the settings on the left-hand side and click settings. And now it brings you to the main settings page and you have here above all of the things that you can set the different options for settings. And I want you to click on the second one recording. And then cloud recording is what I want to talk about because this is where this important doc, uh, click box is. So it's just local recording, first section, cloud recording, second section. So what that means is local recording, record it to your computer. It actually puts the recording on your computer. I don't do this. Um, I do it in the cloud in case something happens to me and somebody else has to take care of it. The people that can access the Zoom account can access the video. Now, if make sure you know that you only have a limited amount of space in your cloud recording on Zoom. So you need to go in there once in a while and clean things out so they don't want to charge you extra for storage, just so you know. All right, so in the cloud recording section, um, this is how I do it, record active speaker with shared screen. And I also record the audio files separately in case I need, I lose audio on the video, I can plug in the audio from the audio files in my editing software. And I do save the chat messages in case somebody had put something in there that we want to share after the event. I don't use a timestamp. I do display participants' names. That's kind of up to you. I do record thumbnails when sharing. And this is what I want, this one right here. Optimize the recording for third-party video editor. If you click on the, air, the question mark, it says what this is about. Enable this option to ensure compatibility of the recording file created by Zoom with video editing software you can use to modify the recording. So this increases your file size. But, and it also takes more time to generate the recording file, but that's not that much time, a couple of hours but it does help whoever is editing it to be able to do that. So please check the optimize recording for third party video editor and save. So that should do it. And when you do a branch meeting that you want to share with everyone in the state and you want to send it to Nancy, me, to edit it for you, then this will allow me to be able to do it. I had a branch send me a video and unfortunately I wasn't able to use my editing software and I had forgotten about this little part in the settings. So go ahead and just go into your Zoom account and do that and we can easily then edit it for you and make it as pretty as possible. Okay?